Mastering prepositions in English collocations, a strategy to remember. Hello language learners. Today we're diving deep into the world of English collocations, specifically focusing on prepositions. If you've ever found yourself puzzled about whether you should say, good at, or, good in, or, depend on, versus, depend of, You've experienced firsthand the complexity of prepositions in English collocations. Fear not! We're here to help you navigate these waters and avoid common preposition mistakes in your English communications. Let's get started! First things first, what is a collocation? Simply put, it's a combination of words that are commonly used together. The way words combine in English often doesn't follow logic or rules, and this is particularly true with prepositions. For instance, we say, arrive at a place, and, arrive in a country. Understanding collocations and how prepositions work within them is crucial for sounding more natural and fluent in English. Yet, many learners find this tricky. So, what's the solution? Well, a great way to learn prepositions in collocations is by memorizing common combinations. Let's dive into this. Many times, learning by heart can be the most efficient approach. This is particularly true for collocations, which don't follow set rules and thus can't always be understood logically. By memorizing common collocations, you internalize these usual pairings of words, and with time and practice, using the correct preposition becomes second nature. Let's practice with some examples. We listen to a song, not listen a song. We are interested in something, not interested on something. We focus on a task, not focus at a task. Try repeating these examples aloud, and create your own sentences with these collocations to reinforce them in your memory. While rote memorization can be helpful, it can be even more effective to learn collocations in context. This means seeing, hearing, and using them in full sentences or in real conversations. It's one thing to know that, listen to, is a collocation. It's another to know how to use it in a sentence like, I love to listen to jazz music while I'm working. So, to boost your learning, make a habit of noticing collocations in the English content you consume. Pay special attention to the prepositions in phrasal verbs, adjectives, and verbs that you read in books, hear in songs, or see in movies. Then, practice using these collocations in your speaking and writing. There you have it. Remember, memorizing common collocations, particularly by learning them in context, is a powerful way to improve your English fluency and confidence. Don't get discouraged if it feels tricky at first. With consistent practice and exposure to English in different contexts, you'll start noticing improvements. Keep going, and don't forget that every step, no matter how small, brings you closer to mastery. Happy learning, and until next time, keep practicing your English collocations.